Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks, and today we're going to make a delicious old-fashioned buttermilk pie. You're going to take a refrigerated pie crust, and you're going to place it in the center of a 9-inch pie plate. Since this is a buttermilk pie, and it's going to be pretty runny, the filling will be runny, I'm going to take my hand, my fingers, make sure this is around the edge of the bottom, like so. Press it down around the bottom edge. And then I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to use my fingers like this, and I'm going to make a ruffle. There's a close-up view of our pie crust. You can tell I've kind of put my fingers down in it. A little so I can kind of mend it a little bit but now you're not gonna you can see where my nails went in to do the design too but now you're not going to um, prick the bottom because this is a juicy pie and you don't want it to run underneath there and um, mess up being able to cut the pie and get it out of the pie plate easy actually not gonna go around my ruffle crust that much um, and since this pie has to bake a long time actually I may kind of push my ruffle over the edge just a little bit so that maybe it can be um, covered up more by this ring. Now let's see if that's better. Yes, that works out much better. So um, just kind of keep stuff like that in mind when you're baking. That looks really pretty. We're going to set it to the side and mix up our buttermilk pie. Okay, with this recipe, we're going to start out with a half a cup of butter. I am actually going to put this in the microwave and soften it. Um, you know, soft enough that I can use a wire whisk to beat it up with the rest of the ingredients. So I'll put it on a minute. While we're softening our butter, we can measure up our buttermilk. And that is going to be one cup of buttermilk. I'm going to shake my buttermilk, of course. This is whole buttermilk. So we're going to put it in here and measure it up to one cup. There we go. We're also going to be using a teaspoon of vanilla. And our vanilla is flavoring, so I am going to use two teaspoons. So I'll just go ahead and put this in my buttermilk. It's wet ingredients. I'm going to check on my butter. My butter was already kind of room temperature, but not quite. So it's melted now for sure. So what we're going to do next is, and I will beat the sugar in with this butter so that um, it won't be too hot for the eggs when we add the eggs. So use a wire whisk. I'm going to use one cup and a half of sugar. So one and a half cups of sugar should work fine. So we've added one and one half cups of sugar. Now we're going to add three eggs. There's one, two, now a lot of people would beat their eggs individual, you know, in another bowl, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to mess up another bowl just to beat the eggs up when I can beat them in the same bowl that they're going in. So let's mix this up well. That looks really nice. We're going to put in three tablespoons of flour, flour over here. We're going to put in three tablespoons. This helps set it up for it to set up and rise and be thick enough to cut a piece of pie out of. Kind of made a mess, didn't I? But that's the fun of baking. All right, I'm, I'm going 
want to add a pinch of nutmeg because me and Chris absolutely love nutmeg. So if you don't like it, you don't, of course you don't have to put it in, but if you like it, the more the merrier, right? Now we're going to pour in our buttermilk and vanilla. We're going to mix it up well. Mm, it smells so good, y'all. And if you're a lemon lover, you can always spurt some lemon in there. All right, we're going to put this in our pie shell, and I am going to pour it in the pie shell while it's in the oven, and that way we don't have to worry about it sloshing everywhere. So we're going to go over to the oven, and you can pour it halfway full and then walk to the oven, but if you do, it can slosh up over the sides of your pretty crust. So we're just going to head on over to the stove. Now my oven has a slider shelf. I like to use it for cakes and pies because it actually has two bars on it, which makes it flatter and more sturdy and keeps your cakes from being lopsided. Um, my other racks, you can see, have one single bar, which is the way most ovens are made today. And you can have your oven as flat as it is, but because the rack is, hasn't got a lot of support, it will still it's still really hard to get your cakes to be level. So if you can find racks, even for the oven you have that you can purchase that have two bars, um, you can make a much prettier layer. Now I'm going to take this pie crust, place it in here, mixture your end of the pie. Now it should not rise, really, so it's okay to fill it pretty full. It's just enough for a nine inch pie. Now we're going to place our ring on the top of the pie, and we're going to slowly push it into the oven. And we're going to bake this for 45 minutes. Our timer went off on our buttermilk pie, so it's time to get it out of the oven. Let's take a look and see how it turned out. It's still a little wiggly jiggly right in the center. I think I'm going to cook it another, maybe even 10 minutes or so. I'm going to pick this up and see how this is looking underneath. It looks really pretty and light. So we're going to let this cook because it looks a little sunken in the middle. Those eggs are rising up pretty. So well, let's let it cook another 10 minutes. Okay, let's get this buttermilk pie out of the oven. It's really pretty. I'm going to take the um, crust topper off. And I'm going to take it and just slide it onto my hand so that I don't mess the crust up. Turned out really nice, y'all. We're going to let it sit here and cool that down before we give it a try today. Make sure when you're making this buttermilk pie that the center does rise just like the sides do because it needs to rise up and, and the eggs need to um, become more like a souffle. Like you see the sides here, they puff up. So if you open up the oven and it seems to be sunken like it was the first time I checked on it, make sure and cook it 10 minutes longer until you think the middle part's about as high as the sides. And I believe we're about there. I can lower this and let you see what I'm talking about. You can see that the center is up about as high as the side. So that's the way you want your pie to turn out. Yummy buttermilk pie. Buttermilk pie. It's pretty much an egg custard made with buttermilk. It's really good. Delicious. Um, I have cut a piece. It cuts really pretty and uniform. Makes a nice slice. 
So I think the best way to eat a pie like this, when it's holding up so well, is not to use a fork. It's to pick it up and eat it like a piece of pizza. Yummy. Mm. It tastes like the filling in a French coconut pie without the coconut. It's pretty much what it is. Mm. This would make really good coconut pie. Just to make this recipe, throw coconut down in the bottom of the shell, pour it over the coconut, boy, what a good pie. nice crust crust top thanks for watching color valley cooks where we cook like mama did bye y'all